Hey guys, today I'm filming my date makeup tutorial and I was so excited to film this video for you guys because I'm using some of my products that I purchased over the last, I'd say, few weeks and these have easily turned into some of my favorite products because they're so beautiful. One of them is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and this, I don't even need to explain, it explains itself, it's beautiful. And the second is the Anastasia, 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 tell me if I'm butchering it because I'd like to say it correctly, the contour kit. And this is just amazing because it has all the shades that you would need. It's still new to me, so I'm still experimenting with it, but it's pretty darn perfect. I want to stop chit-chatting and get right into the video because I want you guys to see everything that I use, and I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I'm starting off with the e.l.f. BB Cream in Medium, and this has become one of my favorite products. It feels more than just a BB cream because it gives me a really nice coverage to work with. I start by putting the product on and then use a different buffing brush to blend it all in and make sure it's even. Then to set it, I'm using Rimmel's Translucent Powder to take the shine down because this BB cream can leave you really dewy looking, which is super perfect for someone that gets dry, but I tend to get shiny, so I wanted to mattify my look. Then to add some extra coverage, I added Urban Decay's Naked Powder in Medium over top. It doesn't add much coverage at all, but it does even out the complexion and almost blurs the skin of any imperfections that you might have. Moving on to brows, I'm brushing them up before I go in with Bobbi Brown's Eyebrow Pencil in Brunette. I'm actually doing my brows in two steps for this makeup. First, I'm using this pencil to lightly fill in where it's needed to shape them out, and then after this, I brush them up so they're not too harsh and it makes the next step a lot easier to see where I need to add to. I'm using Anastasia's Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown and an angled brush to define the arch and extend the brow because this is what really shapes the face. To prep the eyes, I'm using MAC's Prime, Prot, Prime Pot in Soft Ochre all over the lid and up to the brow bone. And then next, can you tell this is my favorite palette? I'm using Stila's eyeshadow palette called In The Know for majority of this makeup look. I'm starting with a nude shade called Desert for all over the lid. And seriously, you guys, this is the perfect matte palette. I've said it before and I'll say it again. For the crease, I'm using Rain, and it's a taupe color, which is a beautiful matte shade that's perfect for natural contouring. I'm also using this color for the inner tear duct as well. Then taking Earth, a rich dark brown, I'm using this for the outer edges to really smoke up the eyes. When using darker shades like this, it's best to use a fluffy brush and move that brush in circular motions going back and forth for really even blending every time. For the brow bone, I'm using Wind, and this is a great shade for this area because it makes the eyes pop but is very subtle. And then I grab the Naked 3 palette to use this one color to really make the eyes pop, and I love using this method. What I did was use a mattifying spray from Eminence that I'll normally use to set my makeup and spray that on a brush. Then I dipped it into this beautiful gold shadow called Trick, which is almost looking like a thick glitter that I don't normally use by itself, so when you use it wet, it's so much better. All I did was dab this onto the center of my lids and it really made the eyes pop and added a little something extra to the look. I think that is. Moving on to liner, I used a Topshop black gel liner for my winged out look. And even though I have lash extensions, they're time for a fill. So I threw on a pair of minks from my love for lashes. That's the name of the company. And these ones are called Aphrodite. Now to finish up the complexion, I use Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer under the eyes to conceal the darkness, that ugly darkness that we all have. Not only is it good for concealing, but it's great for brightening up underneath as well. You only need a little touch of this stuff and you're set. The key to this product is blend, blend, blend. And now, I'm finally getting to use my new contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and you can obviously tell that I'm in love with it. I started with the middle contour shade because it's the perfect color for a more natural look. I brush this along the hollows of my cheekbones and slightly onto my temples, and you can do the nose too if you're wanting a little bit more of a dramatic look, which obviously this is, so why not? 
And for highlighting, I'm using the first shade in the palette to shade on top of where I did the contour. This should lay on the cheekbone. And remember, when you're contouring and you want the full effect, you need to highlight on top and underneath anywhere that you place contour for it to be prominent enough. And to warm up the face, I'm using my Smashbox Bronzer in Sunkissed Matte. And as you can tell from the name, it's completely matte, and that's what makes it the perfect bronzer. It's not too dark or too warm of a product, so you can really build up the color and have it still be natural. And then for blush, I'm using NYX's Mauve on my cheekbones and working up for more of an uplifted effect. And another amazing product coming your way. I use the middle powder from the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette for highlighting. And this is quite beautiful if I do say so myself. If I do say so myself. And I dusted this on top of my cheekbones up towards my brow. And then I wanted to add some more detail to the eye. So I added Stila's Smudge Stick Liner to my lower lash line in a dark brown and smudged that in with my finger. And finally, for lips, I used Kevin Aquan's Lip Liner in Medium to line the lips. And then I chose not to use a lipstick for this look and instead just top the lips off with a Luster Glass Lip Gloss, that's a tongue twister, from MAC in Love Nectar. And what do you think of my hair? I decided to keep it really simple by throwing in my Bombay hair extensions and putting it all up into a slick back ponytail. Pretty easy. I hope you guys like this look. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah!